Yes, so basically, uh, today I want to talk about um, how should we see this um, outbreak, this pandemic. And a lot of people uh, probably first uh, like think like me, this is really, really bad. It's out of control and uh, don't know how to deal with that. And like so many people are like quarantined at home and uh, kind of uh, not be able to really do the thing uh, like they use they they used to do, and uh, like economics like going down because uh, maybe uh, more than thirty percent of people are not working uh, at least couldn't really work uh, at the maximum output. And they definitely will drag down the global economic a lot, uh, probably more than that you can expect. And uh, definitely, they never happen in these two decades or these five decades. But if we look further back to maybe hundred years ago, you can see the Spanish Spanish flu basically also damage the, the the global very 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 seriously and uh, that time uh, people probably if imagine if you live in that they time you probably also think probably we don't have a future it's kind of like the end of the end of the world but eventually main humankind humankind overcome this kind of uh, Spanish flu at that time it looks like really really pandemic is like a plague humans were not able to solve that but eventually, kind of uh, humans are able to control influenza, and uh, now it's another another outbreak, another pandemic. But uh, it's not really, really unprecedented. Just uh, we need to look back to we need to look further back uh, beyond our lifetime. So if you really look into the history, you probably can can see. Uh, what actually happened and uh, what will um, the situation uh, involve in the future it's actually really really good it's a really good idea to if you can research more history about Spanish flu and uh, in terms of the uh, economic impact I would really say it, um, the Great Depression the Great Depression uh, in 1920s that's actually uh, definitely the situation now we are also facing depression but the situation are totally different the reasons the root causes of this uh, two different depressions are different but you can see that time the economics of the world also got hit very hard but human how humans uh, overcome the kind of uh, difficulties uh, I think that's also worth researching. If we can really look into these two very big uh, historical events, we probably probably we can have a better idea on um, how the situation will uh, be developing, will be unfolding in the future. And I think that provides us uh, the good, good insights to kind of understand this outbreak better. And uh, we, after looking those two events, you probably will feel, uh, probably will feel uh, kind of much better because uh, they actually happened before. Even they are now the same, but those kind of experiences they force us to really, really look into. And uh, I'm actually now really familiar with those two events. I think most people are like me. We know there are Spanish flu and it was pretty bad. And there was Great Depression, it was pretty bad, but we only learn those from our textbook history lessons, things like that. It, it's not really, really in depth. So um, I would recommend you to really watch some documentary. If you are more like visual animal, you can watch a lot of documentary. They actually uh, kind of describe the events really good, and there are also a lot of uh, history, kind of uh, papers, research papers that you discussing what happened at the time at that time. So yes, this kind of uh, event I would say is one out one out of uh, century event, 
and uh, but it's not like one out of like the entire uh, human history it's not like that um, we, we we should really uh, learn from the past and they will learn from the history that, that that's what we should do in this kind of uncertain time and yeah that's all for today if you would like to receive more random thoughts random ideas uh, random talks like this don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time